Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another builds video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best World of Chell builds in NHL 22 for the month of January. If you don't know how this series works, I'm going to give you guys three forward builds, two defenseman builds, and finally a goalie build at the end. If you have suggestions for your own builds you want me to try, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to try them out. Anyways, here are the best builds in NHL 22 for January. The first forward build is going to be a 6 foot 1, 170 pound sniper with heat seeker, third eye, and seeing eye. You can see the attribute changes I've made on screen, and with this build I wanted to make it so that this build was a jack of all trades. Nearly every offensive attribute is in the high 80s, which means you can pull off most offensive maneuvers such as cycling and shooting. The skating on this build is also very solid, as you have good speed and acceleration, which means you are able to burn defenders quite easily. The faceoffs on this build are at 90 because I like using this as a center as well as on the wings. The size means you won't get bumped off the puck nearly as easily, and I'm always going above 80% in the faceoff dot every game with this build. Great build that I recommend for anyone who likes to be a pass outlet who can also score. The next forward build is a 5 foot 7, 160 pound dangler with magnetic, send it, and tape to tape. The meta in the NHL series will always include a build like this, as little guys with speed are just too hard to deal with. The skating on this build is just unworldly, as you quite literally cannot get any faster. It's also worth noting I have deking at 99 here, just because I would not use this build at center, so I will never need faceoffs or fighting skill. Passing is also your friend, as it's another offensive stat above 90, which makes you a dual threat in the offensive zone. I have to mention with this build though, it's incredibly easy to get hit and get injured, as you quite literally can't be touched without falling over. Despite that though, I use this build more than any others as it's just a pure offense build. The last forward build is a 6 foot 199 pound playmaker with elite edges, quick pick, and magnetic. This is a center build I've loved using so far and I got this build from Selly Center who you can find in the description. With faceoffs at 90 and defensive awareness at 87, this is a perfect two way build for anyone who wants to be a main factor on offense while being reliable in your own end. The shooting here isn't crazy, but nearly everything else is at a perfect level for being effective in all three zones. I've noticed that sometimes you can get bumped off the puck quite easily if your opponent is continually harassing you, but not enough to warrant changes. I don't recommend this build on the wings as there are better options, but it's a must try for anyone who plays center consistently. Moving on to defense, the first build is going to be a 6 foot, 194 pound puck moving defenseman with elite edges, shut down, and stick em up. I got this build from Red Champ, whose link will also be down in the description. The defenseman meta this year is definitely puck moving defenseman, who can break up the rush quickly and get the play going the other way as fast as possible. This is a build you can use it in 3s or 6s, although I found better luck with it in 3s. The defensive attributes are alright, nothing crazy but definitely get the job done, while on offense this build is quite solid. This build is faster than a lot of forwards and has a great shot to go with it making it a great build when you have room to work with. The only downside is that you get knocked off the puck fairly easy, so don't try and knife through guys with this build. The second defenseman build is a 6'6", 6 6, 260 pound defensive defenseman with shutdown, unstoppable force, and stick him up. Despite this build looking awful on paper, this is one of the most fun defensive builds I've used so far this year. This build allows you to hit like a truck and bully people off the puck, while also being able to shut it down on defense. You also aren't a total slouch on offense either, as for a defenseman your offensive attributes are pretty respectable with 80 speed and 88 passing. I will say this is a pure sixes build however, and I cannot recommend you using this in threes whatsoever, as you will get absolutely burned frequently. But with less space on the ice, this build is an absolute menace to play against. Lastly, the best goalie build for this month is going to be a 6 foot 5, 186 pound hybrid with butterfly effect, sponge, and no timer. You can swap the X Factor out for post to post if you'd like, but I found more success with Butterfly Effect as it's great for controlling rebounds and making consistent saves. This build is amazing at saving one timers and low shots, especially with the added rebound control making it difficult for opponents to get second chances in front of the net. The only gripe I have about this build is the poor side to side movement in the butterfly position, and the reaction time could be a lot better. Most goals I let in with this build are when the puck is at the top of the crease and people are whacking away at it as you'll often get beat by a quick shot from point blank range. Overall however, this build excels in everything else as it's incredibly hard to get sniped if you're in the correct position. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this month's edition of my best build series. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. 
If you enjoyed or found this helpful, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more NHL 22 guides. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.